what's going on everybody welcome to my first ever madden 15 commentary definitely have to give a shout out to wiser now at wiser now on twitter for getting me this footage um i requested the patriots versus the broncos because i believe that that's going to be the conference championship game i don't see how else it could turn out because i think those are the most stacked teams so um if you're new to this channel you could look forward to seeing a lot more of this during the year my commentary is like some of the things you probably never heard or seen in your life so just be ready to go as far as what, what's going to be happening with this that I'm about to get into right now. But I just wanted to address certain things before I get into it. Of course, here we go. We're going to see some of the new type of um, features, the way that it looks. Everything, it looks a lot cleaner. I'm not going to lie to you. The graphics are a lot cleaner. I saw it firsthand without a doubt. We got these two douchebags still back. Um, I forgot, what was his name? Collinsworth? Uh, Collinsworth? Chris Collinsworth was my favorite guy. So I'm not a fan of either one of these douchebags. When I say douchebags, I'm not saying it to be uh, disrespectful. Uh, but I, I guess with all, if I say with all due respect, it's okay. But I, I prefer Chris Collinsworth. But, um, you know, just looking at the game overall, I, I can't lie about it. The game is definitely Chris. Can't, yo, very, very clean. Um, at, at, at one part in this video, it's going to get a little bit dim, though. I apologize for that. I had some technical difficulties, but I brightened it up as much as, you know, as much as I could. Just try to enjoy the gameplay as much as you can. This is CPU versus CPU. We're just going to take a look at some of the things that went into this and um, some of the, just some of the new features that you can expect to see. But as we go ahead to kick this off, as the Broncos go to kick it off, I definitely wanted to address the fact that EA Sports, as far as what they do for the consumer, is completely unacceptable. Um, and what I mean by that, uh, as we take a look at these new things, you can see Tom Brady looking mad old. What is he, like 95 years old right now? Whatever it is, bro. But he's going to still probably have a great season. Just for the fact that EA Sports allows a select few people to have access to the game early, legally, is ridiculous. You know, we as consumers should be able to have the option to get raped and pay the extra money to get it early. We already know now that Xbox has an exclusive uh, right to it with EA Access, so the Xbox users are going to get the game five days earlier. I'm a PS4 uh, guy, so you know I, I have no problem waiting, but it's just the fact that for the guys that are uploading videos now, all the uh, the other commentators that are doing it, that are actually playing the game, it's not impressive gameplay. And what I mean by that is, you know, I, I can have a you know a one-eyed retarded Shih Tzu play the game better than what I've been seeing on display from a lot of the guys that's been releasing it. I don't really care how any of the guys take it that are actually playing the game. I have no, um, you know, I, I, I reserve no. I have no problem with anything that anybody wants to say. I had to put this in here because it looked like it was like I, I just wanted to snicker to satisfy my life for a minute. So I wanted to put that in there. I like the way that they split it through. It looked, it looked like a shit, a shit bar. That's actually why I put it in there. But it was so clean with the graphics, I had to add that in there. But just getting back to it, you know, looking at the gameplay, for the guys that are familiar with the channel, you know that I had a video up about uh, Miss G. Maya playing in practice mode. And. You saw what she did, like, you know, like, she has no idea what she's doing, and pretty much that's what I look at. When I search Madden 15, I see a bunch of bums just throwing the ball up in the air, and a lot of bullshit going on. What, 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 what BS? Uh, let's try to be politically correct, but in my opinion, I'm not affiliated with, with, with anyone um, as far as, like, any, any of the other groups that go out there. Uh, like, as, as far as, you know, the Madden Mastermind crew, which some of you guys may be familiar with that watch this video, he has someone in his crew... Um, T-Raw, I'm going to keep it politically correct for people that are new to the channel. I'm not going to call him what I usually call him, but right here, this is where it gets a little bit grainy, so I had to like uh, en enhance the color a little bit, so it changes up, but it's still the same gameplay. But as far as people that I would prefer to see the game, if you don't know who T-Raw is, he's a guy that's part of the Madden Mastermind crew. You know, I'm Mav, um, I, I, don't, I, I don't, me and I'm Mav are not really on good terms as far as, um, you know, as far as men uh, explaining our relationship as, as a man to man relationship, I have no relationship with him right now. But as far as a person that's in his group that I would prefer to get the game early, if I was going to see it as a really, you know, I'm, I'm a decent Madden player. So I want to see people that know how to play the game play it. I would want to see T Raw play. And like I said, I'm not going to, I have a different name for him. You guys could go back to my other videos if you want to see what's going on as far as how that relationship is going with the Madden Mastermind crew. But somebody like T Raw. If he's playing the game, you know what I'm saying? I have no problem watching it because I know he's a good Madden player. DP Ghost, if you guys don't know who DP Ghost is. Like I said, I don't affiliate myself with any of these guys. And I could care less if anything happens to any of these guys. But 
I have no problem with saying someone's name if that person adds to what we as a collective unit want to see. I don't want to see these other guys get in the game early and the fascination behind it is just them getting it early. You know what I'm saying? Like as you look at this gameplay, like this is CPU versus CPU. I rather I rather see them upload this for any of them that uploaded early that are actually showing gameplay. I don't care what the name is. I'm just saying like if you give everybody an opportunity to play it and to put it out if they want to spend the extra money to get it earlier and they we give the we give the people the viewers the power which is ultimately who's going to give the views which is ultimately how people get paid you know that's why sponsors pay money that's why people put money out there is because they want to see the best so why not make the game available ea sports for everyone to be able to play it and then if somebody's garbage you can say all right let me go to the next thing just like anything else if we if we get a preview of stuff and everybody has access to something we get to pick and choose what we like and what we don't like it's enough that ea sports chose not to put out a demo so that other guys that are able to even put something out can do it it, it, it just takes away from the gravity of what this whole spectrum could be because people that are good at the game are going to be pissed and disgusted because these guys are straight bums and I'm talking about anyone that's playing it, like actively playing it, like everything that I've seen. You, you know, I, I, I haven't seen anyone else that are known good Madden players play it early. And those are the people that EA Sports should be sending it to. You know what I'm saying? The guys that are out there with the, um, what is that? That, 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 that website with the mutt that they had like those mutt challenges or I forgot, I forgot what it is. What is it? Mudhead.com. Those guys, the guys that are winning those tournaments. All right, here we go. We're back to the regular color right here. Um, for that little gap that was in between there for though for those type of guys that are winning those things Like I said, it's a lot of guys that I've actually played. I've played. I played DP ghost You know, I've played T raw when he was another name uh, KO fuego, whatever those guys are decent players You know what I'm saying? That's like me saying that I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do a review of little big planet. Why am I reviewing little big planet? I don't know what's going on. I'd rather have my daughters do it, but then if you subject the people to you know, just whatever, like, look, you know what I'm saying? Look, this is what you're going to get. Oh, look at that pass, though. You can see that this Madden is pretty much all the same things, though. You know, except for the circle has a little better design. Everything appears to be the same, except for the fact that a lot it's just a lot more shinier. It's a, more, it's a lot more clear and, and, and more glisten. But getting back to the fact, the overall fact about the actual, the, the problems that I have and what EA continues to do. If, if you give everyone a level playing field, and everybody is able to just play the game you give the consumers and the viewers the right to either get screwed over by EA or what they want to watch that's what my point is I'm not trying listen I got love for everybody getting money I'm not hating on anybody getting money but I want to see more people getting money if they have what it takes to get that money but if you drown out the week before Madden with a bunch of bums putting out crap like garbage gameplay like yo look I could throw the ball out of bounds like what are you like I don't understand what's going on like dudes is picking engage eight like it's a lot of craziness like things that you would see Miss G Maya do or in comparison a retarded shih tzu with Alzheimer's in one leg like it doesn't make sense none of this makes sense to me and like I said it's a lot of dudes that really play the game and enjoy playing the game and whether you're my friend you're my enemy if I play you when you're good I got no problem saying you're good I don't, I don't have that problem that a lot of other guys have, like Koopa 3, go live. Like, I'm not going to glitch you if you're beating me. I'm not going to do that. If you beat me, you ask anyone that's ever played me. That Moss to Crappy guy, I'm not going to give him a pass on his name. He's just Moss to Crappy. He's a bum. He's not playing it early. I don't know what he's doing. I haven't seen anything, but he's just a straight bum. But other guys that I've played that are decent, it doesn't matter. You could go and go ask these guys. Anybody that watched this video that, you know, that goes to Madden Mastermind streams, you can ask T-Raw. Like, yo, yo, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, I played him when he was KO Fuego, and he beat me. And I, I, it doesn't matter that I got a problem with, you know, I'm a goo, a.k.a. I'm Av. He's still a good player. And for other people that have played him, it still remains the same. He's a good player. I take no credit from an individual that is good at what they do. And I will never do that. That's not what I do. So if you're new to this channel, you're going to enjoy the commentaries of past and present because I just give it how it is. I'm not concerned with people's feelings and I don't want you to be concerned with mine. That's not your job. What I'm saying is that 
there's a lot of individuals and a lot of you guys that are watching this video right now would want to have the game early so you could put your stuff out. It's a lot of other commentators that want to put their stuff out that can't and were subjected to watch other crap. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to, if, if you want to go watch something that say, say you're in the mood for a comedy. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna go and watch Halloween Six with Buster Rhymes doing roundhouse kicks. You have the choice to go find something that makes you laugh. Yeah, it's supposed to be a horror movie and it makes you laugh as well, because Buster Rhymes has no business being in a Halloween movie. But you have the choice for what you want to watch. Right now, for this whole week, it's the same shit every year. You get some bums that get the game early, and oh yeah, look, look at this. Yo, look at me do this. Let me look at me do a user catch and not even clicking on the player like garbage. And then you see certain crap for them throughout the year. It's not entertaining. I'm just saying that if you give everybody, if you take it away from being a monopoly and give it competition, it's already enough that we have no 2K involved because EA has the license for the game. That's what I, that's what I mean by examples of monopoly. It's one person that has control of everything. So as long as you do that, what is going to happen? You take away from what actually could be because if you want to drown out who are the bums and who are good players, wouldn't it make sense to give everybody access to the game, EA? It, it, it seems like that to me. It just seems like a logical thing that you would give everybody access to the game. And that's something that I had to get out of my system as you guys watch the video gameplay. You know what I'm saying? Just to give you how I'm feeling about this whole having to watch this crap and this guy's doing this and this oh yeah look at me do this look at me turn the game on and press start like bro you're bums alright that's over now so now we're gonna get back to this I want you guys to take a look at what just happened though with these full stop penalties like it just looked like the game is designed for the Denver Broncos to get to the, uh, the conference championship game and lose cause why is this fat lineman full starting I have no yeah I have no idea why that happened why it was even I, I don't know what was going on with that that makes absolutely no sense but look they punt the ball Tom Brady's gonna do what Tom Brady does he ain't trying to get sacked he gonna hand the ball off we're gonna hand the ball off again try to put it up in somebody's cheeks put it in his cheeks get the safeties I don't I don't like it was a safety though all right whatever yeah one up on the sideline so pretty much it's, it's the same game just a lot cleaner they, they find ways to get it cleaner each year and I'm not going to lie to you looking at this game firsthand it's definitely very very clean I don't know why he did that, that extra juke but it's probably because he's an African-American Negro. we got to always look good first and win second. Because if he would have just cut and go straight up the field, he would have been in the end zone. But that's another story. So they're, kicking, they're putting the ball off. It looks like we're going into an overtime thriller for my first ever Madden 15 commentary. So yeah, go ahead. Get off me. Get off me. Pump trick. All right, there we go. All right, so look. Here, go, here goes where it gets interesting. Because we all know from Madden 25 that that injury bug was really, really stupid. And I was really interested to see how EA would try to fix that. But it looks like they fixed it by making it even more, making it more easy for you to get injured. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at it real quick. Um, looking at the, the way that the whole thing is set. Oh, pick that. Oh, 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 that was actually my guy. Did he actually catch it? Okay, look. From the 49-yard line again, another guy goes off of false starts. And look at, look at, look at, look at Fox. John Fox like, what the mother F? And who is it? That guy is blurple. God damn, who, is that guy really that black in real life? I got I to gotta research that. So another four star penalty. So that field goal that could have won the game turns out that on second and 14 they're going to throw up a Hail Mary pass right there. All right, here we go. Hail Mary, everything is pretty much the same. The guys react like robots because there's no way that all those guys should be jumping up in the air at the same time and, and look like in unison like it's an iRobot uh, figure. That doesn't make sense. But I am glad to tell you this. Any bum can still throw the ball up like this and catch it. I'm very glad that EA chooses to keep the most ridiculous aspects of their games in, still in the game. But like they said, if it's in the game, it's in the game. So here we go. We're going to go to overtime. It's going to be a serious thriller right here. So I'm just letting you guys understand. Look at Revis looking like, yeah, what's good? You already know I got a six-inch enlargement, so I'm ready to roll. I'm on the pats now. Um, we're going to go ahead and see the coin toss. And as you know with the new rules, you, it doesn't matter. Both guys get a chance to score if you don't score a touchdown. So that means if you only kick a field goal, the other guy gets a chance to go. So it's still the same rules. They're going to go and show it to you right now. All right, we shake hands, slap dicks. All right, we're ready to go. All right, so look. Here we go right here. Everybody's getting amped up, and it's time to go. Point him out, point him out. Yeah, you punk bitch. Go get the guy on the other side. All right, here we go now. All right, so we're kicking the ball off. Overtime, three minutes left. You already know what the new rule is getting kicked off from the 35, so a lot of them are going to be touchbacks. That's not a problem for me. Look at Tom Brady comes up. I love this view. This view right here, this view is nice. It's a lot. You get to see more of the field. 
I like that. You get to really look from the quarterback's eyes. Who's that? Who called that? Is that Amendola? That was a good play. And the, they added a, a few different animations to where the guys are actually going after the ball now. I, I, I like that. I like that. And, the, and you can actually see the linemen now call out stuff. That's really, really good additions if you play real football. Because I play real football. So, yeah, that, that's actually... Oh, god damn! And the hit stick is still there. And Ward just got in his ass right there on that one. And then right there on the hit, you can still see that Gronkowski still doing his thing. And, um... It's just a lot better, and you can see the hurry-up offense is a lot smoother, and you're able to snap the ball at a much better, you know, a quicker rate. And if you guys don't know, the audible is the audibling is also different. You have to actually be at the center to call multiple audibles. It's not like how it used to be, where you can just do whatever you want and be calling 15 audibles before you get to the line. Everything is different now. There goes Talib. You get a close-up on him. All my, all, you know, all the um, the Denver Broncos fans. This is kind of crazy because you did have Talib last year for the Patriots, but. Um, Looking at the way this drive is going to end, you can see they're already in field goal range, but you know Tom Brady would much rather have the touchdown than the field goal. So right there, of course, bro, catch the damn ball. Yo, I'm not even playing the game and I'm upset about that. Why wouldn't you catch the ball? He throws it right on target. And that's another knock that the Patriots get. Tom Brady had a very, very young receiving core, and he still put in work. These dudes, man, but I like the way Tompkins is looking. I think he's going to be able to put some work in this year. What did he call him? I think it was like KP or something. Um, I watched that preseason game. Um, he had a very young core, and he still put in work. Amendola was nothing like they thought he was going to be. Like when he was on the Rams, he was very inconsistent and always injured. And Tom Brady put in work. People need to get over Spygate. I think this is the year people just say, look, man, let them play. They've only gotten better since everybody's been bringing that up. They've only been having winning seasons extreme. And then look, at here we go right here. Look, here, here we go. Look at this guy. Now he's hurt. Look at him. Look at him on the ground having a fucking, he's having a seizure on, on, on the field. Look at, look at this guy, Peyton Manning. Yo, he holding his back, so at least it's not his neck. So we already know if this guy comes in, the game is pretty much over. The game's over. So we're not even going to go into the fact that it could be a miraculous, like this guy is a bum. Who is that, Osweiler or something like that? I don't know who that is. You guys could probably figure that out. I can't, I can't see the back of his jersey. I, I don't know who it is, but he's a bum. So you can see the way this game is going to end. And um, I hope you guys enjoy the way the gameplay looks. As far as Madden goes, you, oh, 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 there we go, Rebus. They did a lot to make sure he looks as ugly as he as he does in real life in that picture. You can see it there. But um, what you guys can expect, for those that haven't even seen any other gameplays, is the same exact Madden, just a lot cleaner with a little bit more detailed movements and expressions but overall it's the same thing it's the same exact game if you love the game you're gonna play it um other than that you know just get ready to uh get lubed up as far as the ultimate team goes and everything else like that you're gonna be paying a lot of money out of pocket with that game but for those that like the connected franchise mode it does look a lot cleaner i think it's gonna be just another year of madden nothing to really you know raise the roof about to go crazy about and i hope you guys enjoyed this first ever commentary for Madden 15 stay tuned for a lot more when I get the actual game and I'm actually able to play other guys that are competitors and not you know get the game early and just throw a pass in the air and say oh my god I'm the best bro I'm good no we're gonna actually have real gameplay here at G Myers world definitely check out my older videos my podcast I do a lot of other things I, I'm just my whole purpose is to make you laugh man and again I hope you enjoyed this thriller and uh, what, what what is that right there why oh he just went through his body okay Whatever it is, man, expect more from EA. And until next time, it's always one love.